Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damer. This is the very first video on SSRS uh, tutorial. Uh, in this video, we will be covering introduction to SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools, uh, and create first solution with default project. Now, we will learn how to open SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools, uh, how to create a SSRS uh, project or solution, uh, how to save or where my project or solutions uh, will be saved. And finally, how to name our project or solution properly. Now, if uh, you don't have SSDT SQL Server Data Tools, uh, it means that you are using maybe SQL Server 2005 or 2008. If you are using 2012 or 2014 SQL Server or even latest version, you will be using SSDT to create your reports. Now, let me take you to the link uh, where you can learn how to install SQL Server and SSDT here on techbrothersit.com if you will be on sql server 2014 dba video tutorials you will find how to install a sql server 2014 step by step you can use the same video to install a sql server 2012 and here the last is how to install a sql server data tools you can also um, search uh, in the YouTube or our playlist you will find these uh, videos there once you have that uh, we, you are good to go and start working with the, the report projects so now let's close this one here we are the very first one is how to open SSDT SQL Server data tools so we are going to go here go to the search and then write SQL Server data tools so once we write it here, even we write SQL Server Data, it will bring uh, this uh, SQL Server Data tool for Visual Studio 2012. I can open from here, but every time I have to open, uh, I will be coming back uh, to search uh, and then uh, searching for it and then opening it. So if I close this one again, I have to go back here, again search SQL Server Data Tools and then open it. Instead of doing that, I want to pin it to the taskbar because this is a very normal and you will be using all the time this software so you have it's good idea to, to pin to the task bar once it's there you can just click here and open it next part of our slide is uh, now we are done with the opening how to create SSRS project or solution now to create the very first uh, SSRS project or solution you will go, go into the file and here in the file you have a new we are not creating a website or a file we are creating a project so we are gonna hit project and in the templates uh, under the business intelligence uh, you can see we have analysis services we have integration services we have reporting services as we are learning SSRS uh, SQL Server reporting services uh, we will be clicking on the reporting services uh, and uh, we are not interested uh, to create a report uh, by using a uh, wizard as of now but we are going to create uh, the very first uh, default project so we will click on a report server project once you click it here what happened it is giving you name so okay what will be report project name then it is uh, giving you the location where your files will be saved for this project or solution now i'm going to call this one as hr SSRS or I will say SS uh, HR project so in this uh, project I will have uh, HR re uh, reports uh, and I can call this one if I want, would like to make it more HR project reports uh. now if you see that uh, whatever the name I'm providing for the project here the same name uh, is taken by the solution uh. so let's see if I will change this one now I can uh, change this one uh, so this uh, can be SSRS solution and this can be this is our project name that can be different now once we have that I'm gonna call this one SSRS training in our case uh, it will be training and now we have this project HR project reports or simply we can delete this part we say HR reports project okay now this is where it is going to save our solution and project together and it's asking create directory for solution yes because we don't have a directory we want to create it now once i uh, go ahead and click ok it is going to create a directory another part if you are not interested to save the 
project and solution to the C users on my documents and the Visual Studio and projects. What you can do, you can browse to any path and provide that. So let me go ahead and uh, maybe create a new pro new folder on the desktop. So I will create a new folder and we are going to call this one create a new folder and SSRS projects. In our case, uh, this is where we want to save our solution and the project. So we select folder, it's all good. Now you can see that the path is changed. See user armor desktop SSRS projects. Hit OK. Now this is uh, our project uh, and the solution uh, name was uh, something uh, different. Uh, we have SSRS uh, training. Uh, that's the very first uh, part. Uh, that's how you will be creating uh, your project uh, project and solution for SSRS reports. Now you can save it and we can come back and open it and start working on shared data sources, shared data sets and reports. Let me show you the folder. Let's go to the folder and it's called SSRS projects and you can see SSRS training is our main directory and inside that we have SSRS training solution and HR reports is the first uh, project we have. So once you open this one, you can see that report project. So that's how you will be seeing the folder for our solution and project. One more thing, we can go ahead and rename this project anytime. So if we wanna go ahead and do it, so we figured out, okay, HR project was not correct name. So we want to say HR per reports project, uh, let's say PRJ. Now, if we save it here, let's save it. And then uh, we close this one. Let's go to the folder and take a look. Uh, so in the SSRS uh, training, uh, HR projects, uh, and you can see now the name has changed for this uh, project. So next part will be coming back uh, and creating a new video, how to uh, create multiple projects in one solution. So naming is very important because that's the way you can remember on which folder or solution or project you created which type of reports. Uh, I always recommend give a very proper name because project one and project two, solution one and solution two, they're not nice names and you will be lost after creating few of the solutions and projects. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.